there's a lot of people in here that are like, I have $500 or $2,000 to my name and I don't know where to get started. Guys, there are way more ways to make money in real estate than you can even comprehend. Guys, do you know how easy it is to become a Gator lender? Nobody talks about it because it's incredibly easy. The thing is, it's only the creative people like me that understand this. And I get people that have been in this business for 30, 40 years that call me and go, hey, I've got this situation. How would you structure this? Because I always come up with a really easy way that both parties win, but you make sure you don't leave any meat on the table, okay? Because a gator is not gonna leave anything on that carcass. They're gonna eat the entire thing. Now, question, is there any reason you could not be a gator lender if you started out with 2,000 bucks? If you had $2,000, could you learn how to be a gator lender and ultimately get to a position where I'm at, where I can go lend $212,000 on a deal because my line of credit has grown so much that I can go out and lend on a deal, get two free houses in the process, 5% of that entire portfolio, and $10,000 in a chunk of money. Tonight, the main topic is either A, how do I find gator lenders, or B, how do I become a gator lender? Because I feel like if I'm brand new to real estate, and I don't even have money for wholesale and marketing and all that kind of stuff, I actually can become a Gator lender. And you're gonna go, wait, I'm 18, how do I do that? Wait, I've never been a lender. Wait, I don't have enough money. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this is done. So now a Gator, okay, a Gator lender is a transactional lender, somebody who's funding on a transaction very quickly. They're coming in and getting chunks. You guys notice there's not really an interest right here because they are lending based on chunks. They make a lot quickly and they do a ton of transactions. They're in and they are out. So let me tell you a couple of four instances. I've got a handful of these deals going on right now. I have somebody right now that I'm lending literally $1,500 to. I'm lending $1,500 to them for one purpose. The purpose of me lending $1,500 to them is for what? Why do you guys think I'm lending somebody $1,500? What could somebody use with $1,500 in real estate? There you go, EMD. Somebody got into a deal that they're super excited about and they don't have the money for the earnest money. Okay, so a lot of you guys that are brand new, you don't know what earnest money is. If I'm a wholesaler and I go to a real estate agent or a seller and I get into a contract with that seller, me and this seller get into a contract that says, I'm gonna buy this house for this dollar amount. Every single contract is going to state earnest money. It means in order for me to actually start the transaction, I need to put $100 down, $1,000 down, $5,000 down. A lot of times it's 1% of the purchase price. You have to go and open escrow. So take this contract down to a title company, hand it over to a title company. They begin the transaction and all the searching and all the title work, but they're going to require you to put down whatever your contract says of earnest money. Can you imagine how many people in here right now that if they got into a contract with the seller required them to put 1% of their $300,000 purchase price, how many people in here right now could not come up with that $3,000? You'd be stuck, right? You'd be stuck. All right, so here's the thing that I can do with transactional lending, okay? I can fund people's earnest money. So I've got an earnest money deal right now where the wholesaler needed $1,500 to cover his cost to get into the deal. Okay, 1500 bucks. How much money would I make if I was gonna earn 10% of that over the course of a year? All right, so if I earn 10% on that, $1,500 over the course of a year, it's not really worth my time, right? So most big lenders, like hard money lenders, private money lenders, they don't wanna waste their time with a $1,500 little lending fee. Gator lenders or transactional lenders, lenders that are coming in and out, most people, would look at your little deal and your earnest money as a dead carcass. I don't want to deal with that. But guess what animal eats a dead carcass all day long? An alligator. An alligator will eat a dead carcass. So what I'm doing for a lot of people right now is I'll show you guys how to become a gator lender here in just a couple of minutes, but I'm helping people fund those deals and I'm teaching other people how to become a gator lender because how much money do you think I'm going to make on that $1,500 covering their earnest money transaction? Stop thinking about the paperwork for a second, guys, please. Stop thinking ahead of yourself and stop creating limitations in your brain immediately. Do yourself a favor by just focusing on one step at a time. I will make $5,000 on that $1,500 transaction, $5,000. The wholesaler is making 25. This is what I said. The wholesaler says, I don't have the money to cover it, but I already have a buyer 
and the buyer doesn't want to put the $1,500 up until title is clear. And I go, okay, I'll put up the $1,500 because I have the proper paperwork that will make sure that if the transaction doesn't complete, I get my money back. I'm fully protected. I will put up the $1,500. What is it worth to you? He goes, well, I'm making 25,000 bucks. I go, what is it worth to you? Wholesaler says, I'll pay you $5,000 at close of escrow. I go, okay, as long as I'm on the HUD, I'll give you the 1500 bucks. Guys, you know how many times I've done this? I've done this so many times. Now, check this out. It's not just earnest money. It's also probate fees. I get a lot of wholesalers, same thing. Hey, my seller needs to go through probate. I already have the house under contract. I already have a buyer lined up, but I don't have the money to pay for the probate and I need help. And I go, no problem. I will lend money on this. My risk is a little bit higher in a probate situation and I'll pay for the probate. Let's say it's $2,500 or $5,000, whatever it may be. And my cost, I have a, a probate deal right now I'm covering. If I was a lender at 10% or 12% and I loaned $5,000 on, let's say a credit card or a line of credit, how much money would I make at 10%? At 10%, I'd make $500 for the year. Is that worth my time? It's not enough. Okay. And so mo most big lenders, hard money lenders, private money lenders, are they going to waste their time on a $5,000 deal? No. And so a gator lender, somebody that comes in and will look at a dead carcass or an animal that nobody else wants to eat, an alligator will actually come in that water temporarily, pull that out, or they'll even go into the water and bring it down to the bottom of the water and they'll eat something somebody else is not willing to eat. They'll make use of a deal and they'll actually get that transaction completed. So the gator lenders are incredibly important. A lot of people don't talk about this because they don't know about it. So essentially I fund a probate. I pay for the probate attorney. It goes through probate. All that stuff is done. I have a deal right now. I'm making 10 grand on a $5,000 deal. I'll make 200% on me paying for probate. I'm inserting my deal because again, guys, I'm not basing it on interest. I'm basing it on a chunk of money, a chunk of money, a chunk of money. Okay. Now, let me tell you a couple of deals. I'm currently negotiating a deal. Listen to this, it's gonna psych you out, okay? This, is, this takes about a year to build up to this. If you become a gator lender, it takes about a year to get up to this level. If you build up a line of credit, you guys can work up to this type of transaction. I currently have somebody, it's a wholesaler, working on a big portfolio. Portfolio is a large chunk of homes. I think it's like 112 homes in the North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia area over there. They are taking down a massive portfolio of houses, seller finance with a down payment. They don't have enough money for the earnest to open the transaction. And so they need $212,000 to cover their earnest money on that deal. What do you think I'm charging for that deal? You think I'm charging 20, a percentage? You guys think I'm charging a percentage? I'm actually getting two houses from this transaction. I will own two houses out of this transaction of me coming up with the $200,000. I will also earn $10,000 in return. And I'm negotiating 5% ownership of their entire portfolio. Everybody that signs up and learns creative finance, you have a superpower that is unbelievable. A superpower. Okay, there's entire students that have built their entire business based on the ability to get a dead deal turned into a good deal through creative finance. So think about this. I go into a Facebook group and my name is Pace. Well, let's say it's anybody else. Let's say it's Caleb Christopher, right? I'm Caleb Christopher. I go into a Facebook group, let's say Ohio wholesalers, whatever the, the Facebook group is. And I go, hey guys, new to the group. My name is Caleb Christopher. I can do three things for you. One. I can help you underwrite or look at your deals. Some of you guys can do that. Some of you can't do that. Two, I can help you revive your dead leads if you're a wholesaler or you're a real estate agent. And three, if one and two are not good for you, three, I can provide transactional lending on earnest money, probate, et cetera, types of transactions. Hit me up. I have value to bring to you. Has anybody else ever wondered, how do I provide value to wholesalers? How do I go to wholesalers and provide value to them? Pretty freaking simple. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have the proper paperwork, you set yourself up correctly because lines of credit are used for multiple things, right? They're used for construction, they're used for down payments, they're used for whatever, payroll a lot of times for people that are starting out. 
But when you guys are doing transactional lending, you gotta make sure you have the proper lending paperwork. Everybody says, how do I get started in real estate with little to no money? Here's the answer. Become a Gator lender, go and find things that people are like, I need help with this to make this work. It's freaking genius. It's freaking genius, not just genius, it's freaking genius. So look right there, like you have somebody right there says, I'm stuck with EMD right now. Lorene says, I'm stuck with EMD right now. I don't have the EMD. Guys, this satisfies Lorene's problem. This is why I'm doing this live right now is so that you guys can connect with each other or become the Gator lender. You know what's kind of cool? So check this out. You, you guys, all my students, you guys know the free Facebook group, right? So I have three full-time employees working that Facebook group, the free Facebook group, Creative Finance with Case Morby. And the sole reason I created that Facebook group was for this, the benefit of my students. So my students are in a private Facebook group. We have about 3,700 students in there. And I put my, my students in a position to go and help all these people in the free group, right? Give you elevated education, elevated support, elevated everything else. And you go into the people into the free group. So we're gonna grow the free group so that you guys have more people to do transactional lending and gator lending to, so that you students that actually go and take action, you guys have more people to lend money to and double your pot, triple your pot, quadruple your pot, et cetera. Build com some community around this to help a lot of people. Cause like, like you guys said, there's people, or you guys saw in the comments, there's a lot of people that have transactions right now, but they don't have earnest money, right? They don't have $1,500 to get a wholesale deal done that they're relying on, right? There's people that I'll fund $2,500 for, that are making 25 grand and they're too afraid to ask their buyer to come up with the $2,500 for whatever reason, there are so many ways for you to make money by just being the person that helps people out on these types of transactions. Wherever you guys go, now you're gonna say, how can I provide value to you? You can now say, I'm, I can do transactional funding for you. Adds another level of value. And even if it's like 2000 bucks or $3,000, there's value there for newer budding wholesalers. All right, guys, you guys, all, did everybody have fun? Anybody learn a couple things? You guys learn a whole new strategy that you didn't even know existed?